Alright, let's do this. Okay, oh my god, she's got Sigilyph. I fucking hate Sigilyph. Her Gothitelle also has a move called Flatter, which just instantly confuses you. It's trash. Yeah, get up out of your bed, bitch. Why are you always sleeping? Fuck. Alright. Oh, no, 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 Back. Time to save. Alright, guys, let's do it. Battle three of four. Well, out of five, I guess, technically, but... I'm excited to... If we make it to the champion, we actually get to face, uh... We get to hear some new music in the game for the last battle. It's pretty exciting. Champion theme is different than, like, the Anner gets his theme. Who's there? Who is so uncouth as to disturb my sleep? Hmm, it's you again. Still, you possess that combination of kindness and strength, yet you seem stronger than before. Do be sure not to bore me with a snooze-inducing battle, is that clear? Well, she obviously didn't come up with any new material saying the exact same thing. Ah, <laughs> she's yawning, that's funny. God, what is this? Bitch must be epileptic or something. No, not epileptic. What's the word I'm thinking of? Sleep apnea. Is that the one you just fall asleep? No, that's not sleep apnea. I forget what it's called. That chick had it on Deuce Bigelow. Alright, so we're gonna crunch a ties, Musharna Captain. Wow! What's the point of that? Oh, by the way, watch out for Ryu Nicholas. He has Thunder. And I really don't know why she switched into Ryu Nicholas. I wonder if time is about to start. I like this moment. Alright, so assuming I outspeed him, he should be dead. Do. Okay, good. Well, that was stupid. You just killed your Ryu Nicholas. So now we're in the exact same place, except you're one Pokemon down. And now I'm moxied up. You're fucking stupid. I mean, maybe it had Aerial Ace or something. Well, it probably had Psychic. I forgot. Psychic could fuck me. Oh no, because I'm Dark-type. It doesn't affect me. Ooh, yeah. Damn, I love that shit. Okay, Sigilyph I don't like. But the good thing about Sigilyph is he has five weaknesses. Electric, Ice, Rock, Ghost, and Dark. Now I'm moxied up, so I ain't gonna waste it. But, of course, he is part flying type, so I'm absolutely certain he has some sort of flying type move. Aerial Ace, no doubt. And he's probably faster than me, so... Yep, there it is, Air Slash. Well, that's terrible. Just don't kill me in one hit, thank you. Oh! Lord have mercy. Okay. Ugh, fuck, I don't really have a plan here. I'm just full restoring because... I don't know, maybe he'll use something stupid since I only had 15 HP left. Yeah, he used Ice Beam. What a jackass. But it doesn't matter because he outspeeds me and he's just gonna... It doesn't matter, I'm dead. There's that Air Slash. Yep, goodbye, Crash. Fucking sigil if I hate this guy sometimes. Alright, so the question is, what do we do about sigil if... Well, we've got an large array of choices, but my personal favorite is sending in somebody who we cannot super effect, namely Hydrus, and whom he can get stab, super effect, thunderbolted with. Psychic, ooh, I'm scared. Actually, that's very powerful, but Hydrus is a tank. Sigilyph, I'm sorry, but Hydrus has always been and always will be your maker. You cannot hope to defeat him. Even without that critical, I'm sure you would have died. Maybe not, but you're dead anyway. Alright, Hydrus finally gets 58. Good. He deserved it. Alright, now Metagross. You know what that means. It is time to bring in the big guns. Fire Kizong! However, Metagross is her big kahuna at level 73, so even though he's so slow, he might outspeed us. Because Fire Kong ain't that fast. But if he doesn't, and he's also got Earthquake, so he will destroy Fire Kong if he goes first. But if he doesn't, we will destroy his entire world with Flare Blitz. Yeah, buddy! Get wrecked, Slowpoke! I'm pretty sure he should die. I've got over 200 attack. Yes! And the big kahuna gets Oko'd. Oh, your new Pokemon didn't work out? Oh, I'm so Damn, 11,000 experience. That is very good. That's almost two levels. Alright, who's she gonna send in? I'll send in Bronzong. I'd like to get him out of the way. Oh, Musharna's coming back in, huh? Oh, shit. Now Crash is dead. Bug, Dark, or Ghost? Bug, Dark, or Ghost? Bug, Dark, or Ghost? 
I guess my only option is Megahorn with Noki. And now we're safe because the threat of Thunder from Ryu Nicholas is out of the way. Of course Musharna could have Thunderbolt or something. My real worry is though, I don't think... Musharna's a tank, Megahorn doesn't get stabbed, so it's not gonna kill. I do have speed it though, which is interesting. But... Oh god, it didn't even do half. Oh god, it used Hypnosis. But the good thing about this Musharna is... It's almost guaranteed to follow up Hypnosis with Dream Eater. So, as long as... Well, actually, do I have an Awakening? <laughs> Instead of wasting a full heal? Patch a berry, cover some poison, sleep, there we go. Um, it's a guaranteed... Yeah, it's just a waste, so now we're back. Now she has to hit Hypnosis again. Alright, I shouldn't have, actually, I, fuck, I should have used Aqua Jet in retrospect, because that would have put her a little bit lower, oh, now she might heal. Alright, Hypnosis again, very good. And why the Z's come out of my butt, I don't know. That is the question for another time and another place. Alright, Chesto Berry, eat up, Noki. Oh, damn it. Backing knew it. She used it on the turn when I had a Chesto Berry, too, that bitch. Alright, Megahorn. Does Musharna have pressure or something? Why does it seem like my Megahorn? No, you know what? I did use three. Yeah, that did nothing. Okay, this time, she shouldn't... It looked like it did very little damage that time, so this time she shouldn't... Um, it should three hit her without making her heal. It should put her in healing range. Next turn. Lol, sucker. But I am running out of Megahorns, which is worrisome. But that's okay, we've got Ethers. I can use them. Oh man, that is going to put her in healing range. But, judging from what I've seen from the rest of the Elite Four, it doesn't look like they heal. Z's out my ass. Doesn't look like they heal um, the same Pokemon twice. But that's just me. This is her Musharna, so maybe she will. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so Megahorn, and you should be dead. Cool, thing didn't even do one damage to me. Critical. Wow, useless critical. Thanks for that now. Alright, and now all she's got left is Gothitelle and Bronzong. Her big kahuna's already down. We are looking good. Now, Gothitelle is weak, but goes to dark, so I guess it would theoretically be best to leave Noki out, so I think I'm going to. Actually, I mean, I could just get in a U-turn. You found my Mystic Water. Oh, damn, because I was definitely planning to use water moves on you. Dumbass. Right, hopefully this does more damage. Oh, very good. Gothitelle, not nearly... Ah, oh, you... Not nearly as tanky as Musharna. All right. My special attack rose, like I care. All right, so I'm going to risk it here, and I'm going to go for Megahorn. Noki, you dumbass bitch. That's okay. What the fuck is payback? I didn't do any damage to you, though. Yeah, so it shouldn't do any damage. I think it does double damage if you hurt them first. But the good thing is, if I actually hurt her, she'll be dead. So, Oh lord, please, why didn't she use payback? Why didn't she use payback, Gothitelle? You slut. Hmm. Uh, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Ficon. Ooh, Ficon needs to stay alive, though, but I've got a plan. We are going to do a little thing I like to call... Hit and run! And this is why we taught you turn to Viacong, folks. And also why we taught it to Avion, because it's a great move. And Viacong went back to scope. I wonder if I can send him back out. Yay, Grill 59, he's not even on the field. He's not in battle, I withdrew him. Okay, um, so next is Bronzong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give... I'm going to let Hydrus uh, take a hit. Oh, shit. What if he starts setting up on me? Oh, God. Bronzong has called mine. Oh, dude. It lets me switch. Okay, cool. Um, Bronzong is slow. Phikong is not. So here's what I'm hoping. I outspeed him. If I do, Fire Flare Blitz should kill him. And I can't risk like sending somebody else out to heal Phikong because he could set up with Calm Mine. 
And if he sets up with Calm Mind, you're dead. Do not let him do that. Alright, I outsped him and I killed him, as predicted. So we win. Oh, very good. Fire Kong survives, gets the experience, and he joins the level 60 club. Very good. Yay! Are you? I've always been, or even more than ever. You are elegant and excellent trainer. Your Pokemon also have classed. I'm very pleased to have battled you. Well, thank you, darling. Alas, even with the knowledge and skill passed down in my family of trainers, I still can't win. The reason I came here in the first place was to encounter trainers like you. Oh, cool story. Alright, bye. Go back to sleep. Okay, and now we have but one more Elite Four trainer to fight, people. But you know the drill. We gotta heal. Heal up. Only two Pokemon die that round. Not bad. Not bad at all. We whipped Caitlyn pretty thoroughly, I would say. And we haven't even used our Max Revive yet. I'm saving that for either Alder or Beyond. I'll probably just... I might end up having to use it on Alder. I mean, he's... He's five levels ahead of every single Pokemon these Elite Four have, so let's get... Well, only four levels ahead, actually, on their Kahuna. Alright, so we gotta put... Uh, well, do we? Let's see. Chantal. Dark, 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 dark. Okay, it looks like all Chantal's Pokemon are weak to dark as well, and none of them are weak to fighting, so we're gonna leave the black glasses on Scrafty. Um, the two Pokemon she added to her team are Frostlass and Driftblim. Driftblim's annoying, he's got Aftermath, that'll hurt you when he dies. And Frostlass is very scary. Um, but yes, her whole team is weak to both Ghost and a Dark-type moves, every single Pokemon. And they've all... Um, actually, four of her Pokemon have five weaknesses. Um, another one has four, and then Kofagrigus only has two, but you get him out of the way early. Um... Yeah. But we don't have any ghost type moves, so our best bet is to go with Dark, so I think we're gonna stick with Scrafty Poo. The only problem is a lot of her Pokemon have ghost type moves to hit Scrafty. Mmm, scary stuff. I think she should have added a Spear Tomb to her team, that would have been cool. Alright, well, we'll just try it. Let's see what we can do here. Why even have stairs if you're just going to do that, Chantal, really? And then the part I actually do have to walk up... Oh, I don't have to walk up that part, I was going to say. The stairs are broken. Alright, save e -poo. And now it's time to take on the fourth member of the Elite Four, folks. She starts with Kofagrigus. Who's your big kahuna? Uh, it looks like Chandelure still. Wow, so not even one of her new Pokemon? Wait, 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 what was that she said? I want to read that. I gotta reset, because I want to read what she said there. She said something about Thunderbolt, and I skipped it stupidly. My bad. Good thing we made saves. Ooh, Driftlim has Thunder. That's scary. Who else has scary moves? Oh my god, Jellicent has Hydro Pump Ball? That's Is that even a move? I'm pretty sure it means Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump Ball. <laughs> That's not a move, dude. There's no way. Alright, so what did she say? I have no idea what day it is today, but I will never forget it for the rest of my life. That was part of the novel I wrote. Wait, she didn't say that. She didn't say that last time. She said something about a trainer named Volkner. What the fuck, dude? Why didn't she say... <laughs> no, I want to hear about Volkner. Alright, whatever, Chantal. You're a bitch anyway. We're going to take you down. I love this music and some good I want dances in my pants right on my face. Face, 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 face. Alright, crunch ties me, Captain. Right, let's see how much we can do to good old Cofabrigus here. What? That's it? Oh no, my Moxie Cotton. Not Will of Wisp. Fuck, dude, you're a dick. So not only did he take away my Moxie, now he has my attack. Alright, fine. How about this? 
I've got a little thing called a full restore that nullifies your Will-O-Wisp, and certainly you couldn't have predicted that. There's no way you'd use Will-O-Wisp again, so now you're probably going to use something stupid like... Destroy the three energy balls. Alright, good. And now I crunch you again, because I'm faster. And hopefully she'll waste a heal on Copacrius. Yeah, you... Now, I'm going to heal here. I'm hoping she does the same thing. I would like her to... Well, I mean, actually, I wouldn't mind if she didn't either. But, I mean, it'd be nice for her to waste a full restore, but I'm pretty sure they have a lot, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Whatever. I'm really upset about my Moxie, though, because if my attack went up. Like, I could have... That Moxie could have made me this crunch carry us throughout the whole battle. Ooh, that crit! That wasn't a crit? Why did he do so much damage? What the fuck? That was weird. Okay, and that one was a crit? Alright. This game's tripping. Crash joins level 60 club! Alright, who's next? Go Lurk. Ground Ghost, this guy is. Um, he's weak to water, grass, ice, ghosts, and dark. But he's also got fighting type moves, which are bad for Crash. And you know what? Crash doesn't have Moxie right now, so I really don't have any point to not switch out. So let's send in somebody who can do better here. I'm thinking Arby's? No, I'm thinking... I'm thinking Noki. I don't think he has anything that can hurt Noki sufficiently. So yeah, we'll just surf him for the stab. Golurk is such a beast. On my first black and white playthrough, I got a Golurk just because I thought he was cool because he was grounding ghosts, and he looks badass, and he gets he can learn to fly. Oh shit, I forgot to fill up Noki's Mega Horns. It's okay, I don't think we'll need him in this battle, but I'll use him next one. I don't think any of her Pokemon are weak to bug. No, it doesn't look like a hammer arm. It does a lot of damage, but it decreases your speed. I'm already faster than you anyway, so I'll just keep Goodbye, Golurk. That's two down. Guess how many of my Pokemon are down, Sean Tall. Settle, Goose Egg! Oh, Noki joins level 60 club. If all my Pokemon could be level 60 before Alder, that would be great, but I know it's impossible. Alright, Driftblim. We want to get Noki out of there. The reason she's trying to send him in is because he's got Thunder. But you know what? He's Ghost and Flying. So I could send in a little, um... Thunder Pal of my own, known as Hydra's Poop. May have heard of him, maybe. He's a little guy, you know, who has no weakness, you know. No big deal or anything. This guy has Aftermath, and that pisses me off. Oh, he goes first? Maybe he doesn't have Aftermath. I think there's another ability he can have. Thunderbolt! God damn, that did a lot. Alright, is she gonna heal? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Hmm, I'm so torn away at what to do here. Because if I attack, he's gonna go first. He's gonna use Shadow Ball. It's gonna put me low, and then Aftermath will probably kill me, and I won't get the experience. But if I heal, and she doesn't heal, she's just gonna use Shadow Ball and I'll be exactly where I am right now. But if I use Thunderbolt and she does heal, then I'll just be in the exact same spot. But I could get a critical or a paralyzation. Alright guys, sorry about that. We are back, and now... It looks like Chantal is about to send in Jellicent, which is interesting because... I could destroy Jellicent. It must have some sort of trump move. Well, it can't have a trump move. It can't have anything that's super effective against Hydrus. 
So let's scope out the situation. Let's see if Hydro Pump Ball is really a move. And I'm gonna full restore here. Let's just see what Jellison's got in store here. What do you got, Jellicent? Okay, no, it's just Hydro Pump, and I avoided it, so all is well. Get Thunderbolted. Oh no. It's gonna hurt a bit. Just a wee bit, though. And it's already wasted two of them, so we're okay. Do half at least. Oh, Jellicent is so tanky, I hate it. Alright, so now we just full restore either until she misses Hydro Pump again or runs out of PP. Both which will happen relatively soon. Either of which will happen relatively soon. Okay, that one hits, but that's three. Also, don't crit. Okay. Please miss. Nope. But that's four, only one more left. The damage range on that thing is monstrous. <coughs> Alright, why don't you just miss your last one just for good measure, Jellison? That would be pretty freaking fantastic. Oh, you're your dick, man. Four out of five. What are the odds, right? Look at that damage range. It goes from 69 to 81. It's crazy. Alright, and now let's see what else you got. Hydro Pump Ball, maybe? Shadow Ball. I think that's what the person on here is thinking of Shadow Ball and Hydro Pump. Oh, that does a lot, but not enough to kill me in two hits. So I gotta do something. I'm gonna try Grass Knot. This thing is pretty heavy, maybe. Oh, Lord. Why is this thing so much faster? I guess it is a whopping... Uh, oh, man, she's gonna heal. But that's okay, because so am I. She is 13 levels ahead of me. She's not gonna heal. Alright, I guess maybe these. It looks like the Elite Four only has one or full restore each. Alright, and Grass Knot. Goodbye to your face. Jelson has a pretty good moveset though. Shadow Ball, Psychic, Hydro Pump. And what was this other move? Sludge Wave? It's a pretty diverse moveset. Cursed Body. Grass Knot was disabled. Oh no, good thing I was using Grass Knot instead of Thunderbolt. Hey, 59, Hydra's very good. Alright, who's next? Frost, Lass. Thank you for that, Homer. Alright, Frost, Lass, Ice and Ghost. It's weak to Fire, Rock, Ghost, Dark, and Steel. It's the problem with Ice types, they just got too many damn weaknesses. Alright, so should I switch here? I'm gonna send in Dude here. Because I think he can tank pretty. Frost last pretty well. I don't even know if it has any ice type moves, but I'm assuming it does. And Rock Slide should be super effective. Oh, it has Blizzard. Oh lord. Ah, you missed. That's why you don't put super moves like that on your Pokemon. Alright, one more miss, please. Damn it. That shouldn't kill me, right? Yeah, because Steel resisted. Okay, so it's only half power. Good, good, good. Good job, Slow Flake. Taking out Frost and Lass like a tank. Was that her uh, big coon? No, it wasn't. Hey, now all our Pokemon are 59, at least. Alright, now it is Chandelure time. Her big coon, her final Pokemon. Weak to Water, Ground, Rock, Ghost, and Dark. Probably not... A good idea to keep Slow Flake in there because he's weak to fire. Hydrus, I think, would be a good bet, so I'm gonna leave Slow Flake in here to heal Hydrus. Oh, I guess it's time to start my last chapter. You damn right, the chapter where you die. Is it possible we might get out of this battle without anybody dying? Has nobody died yet? I'm pretty sure. Not. Really? You go with Psychic? Why not a fire type move just to. Guess whatever works. Alright, Hydrus. Now, Chandelure has Psychic, Payback, I'm pretty sure some kind of fire move, maybe Will O Wisp. So it's kind of scurry. Um, so. Wait, 
what am I doing here? Hydras doesn't have any super effective moves against this guy. <laughs> it's Water Rock Dark Ground Ghost, and I've got Fire Grass Electric Dragon. Why the hell did I send in Hydras? That is a great... I don't know, I'm just going to use Thunderbolt. Wait, what did it use against me? I think will o -Wisp, maybe? Ooh, the Paralyzation Nation. Alright, get fucked. Don't use a full... Oh, and the Paralyzation, oh my god. The epilogue of the story is about to begin. Man, that was pretty much the best series of events that could have happened there, possibly. And I think with this, Hydras will join the level 60 club, and that will make Slowflake our only Pokemon that's not level 60. So we almost got all our Pokemon to level 60 before Alder. Pretty good, I will say. Booyah, and that's the Elite Four down, folks. Wow, I'm stunned. For all the words I know, I can't figure out how to say this. Putting my feelings into words would just be a trap. All I will say is I feel you even greater than I thought. Yeah, buddy. Now, what were you going to say about Volkner? Challenger, if you defeat the entire Elite Four of the Pokemon League, you can go on to challenge the champion. And you have earned that, right? Your story is yours and yours alone. Please weave a wonderful tale. Will do. All right, guys. So here we stand at the base of the statue where we've defeated the Elite Four. And before us stands yet one more battle remains in this game for us to challenge before the finale is concluded and the game is done. So, I am going to see you guys next time in which... Well, am I going to see you next time? I don't know. Yes, I'm going to see you next time in which we conclude this finale and take on the champion of Unova. Goodbye.